Okay, guys, let's now look at 1.4. So it says, the bar graph below shows the racial composition of blood donors from 2014 to 2016 in terms of actual numbers and percentages. Okay, so let's see what it asks us, right? It says, use the bar graph above to answer the questions that follow. So I know I've said this before, but don't get so hung up on the information they give you, you forget to look at the questions. The questions often help you understand the scenario that's given. Okay, so let's look at what it says. It says, use the bar graph above to answer the questions that follow. Give a possible explanation for including an unknown category as a racial group, right? So we have Asian, black, colored, white, and unknown, right? So the obvious one is not everyone is Asian, black, colored, or unknown, right? Um, another one is sometimes people don't indicate their race, right? That's their right not to indicate their race. So you can say here, there's many things you could say, but I'm just going to say, um, not everyone is either Asian, black, colored, or white. Okay? There could be other, right? Okay, you can look at the memo. There's a variety of answers there, but I'm just giving you the one that's most obvious to me. Okay, let's look at the next question. It says, describe a possible trend relating to the percentage black donors. Okay, so if we look at the percentage black donors, we see that in 2014, it was 37. In 2015, it was 38. And in 2016, it was 40%. So what we see is as the years increase, right, as we go from 2014 to 2016, we see that the, the percentage of black donors increase, okay? So let's write that down. So again, this is just a data interpretation. They're wanting, they're basically saying, can this person who's writing this paper actually understand the data we've given them, right? And we're saying, yeah, we can. Marker, give us our marks, <laughs> okay? So it's as the years go, okay? Um, the percentage of black donors increases. Okay, simple as that. Okay, let's now go on to the next question. It says, explain why it can't be said with certainty, with certainty, that the number of Asian donors remained the same from 2014 to 2016. So now we see here, right, the percentage stayed the same, right? So it's 8%, 8%, 8%. But remember, 8% is an indication of a whole, right? So it's saying if there was 100 people, 8% of them were Asian. But we don't actually know how many um, people donated blood in 2014, in 2015, and, and in, in 2016, right? Because if I said to you, what's 8% of 100? You'd say, okay, that's 8, right? So let's imagine that in 2014, there was 100 people that donated. In 2015, there was 150. And in 2016, there was 200, right? 8% of 100 is 8 people. 8% 8 of 150, and you can test this on my calculator if you don't believe me, on your calculator if you don't believe me, is 12. 8% 8 of 200 is 16. So you can see it's still 8%, right? But the, of what total, right? We don't know what that total is, right? And that's why we can't be completely sure because we're not actually sure of the number of people, right? The total number of people that donated blood, okay? So we're going to say here, the total number, the total number of people donating blood, sorry, donating blood, each year is different. Okay, that's the most obvious one. You could also say, um, you know, the percentages could be rounded off because all of these are rounded off to, um, so there's no decimal places, but one could be like 7.9 and the other one could be 8.1 and they could both be rounded off to 8. Okay, so there's lots of different reasons you can give there, but this one to me is the most thorough, the most insightful. Okay. Cool, let's now move on to 1.4.4. 1.4.4 says the total number of donors in 2016 was 490941. This total donor base grew marginally from the previous year by 1.02. So it's basically saying 2015 we had so much, right? We increased that by 1.02 and that gives us 20, uh, that gives us the, the answer for 2016, right? So 2016, there were more people than in 2015. That's very important, okay? So let's write that down. 
Okay, well, firstly, let's read the question. It says, calculate the number of donors in 2015. So, right, so donors in 2015, right, we have to increase that by 1 plus 1.02%. And that gives us donors in 2016. Now, don't get hung up on what I've written there. Basically, what I'm saying is, right, this is the same as saying donors in 2015 plus 1.02% times donors in 2015, right? Exactly the same, right? I'm basically saying I'm increasing the number of donors in 2015 by 1.02% to get the donors in 2016. So I want to get the donors in 2015 by itself right? Remember what I said in the previous video? If you want to get this by itself, we have to get rid of this, okay? Now we see that it's a times, right? So what we do, I'm just going to um, take that away. So what we do is we divide this side by that, right? So we can get rid of it, but we also have to divide this side by the same thing because it's like a ratio. What you do to the one side, you have to do to the other. And you'll see that this actually cancels this. So we'll be left with our donors for 2015. Okay, and then I'm gonna sub in my value here for what my donors in 2016 were. And I'm gonna divide it by this percentage here. Okay, let's put this into our calculator. Okay, 49091419. One plus 1.02 shift percent. Okay, and our number of donors in um, 2015, right, is this amount here. Now, you can't have part people, right? So let's just say if we round this off, you can round this off to 485957. Okay, let's just do a little bit of a test. Is this amount for the donors in 2015, is it less than the number in 2016? Yes, it is. Therefore, it makes sense. Okay, because that's what they told us. Let's now move on to the last question of this question or of this video. Okay, it says, hence, determine, round it off to the nearest 10, the number of white donors in 2015. So, we know that the donors in 2015, we've just worked out, is 485957. Okay, so now we want to work out the rounded off to the nearest 10, the white donors, okay? But do you see here in 2015, we don't actually have the percentage for white donors, right? So we don't actually have that, but we do have the percentage in 2015 for everything else, right? So we have, I'm just going to use a little highlighter, we have Asians, we have black people, we have colored people, um, we don't have the white people yet, but we have the unknowns. And we know that all of these 2015 amounts, when I add them together, should equal 100, right? Because we must count for everyone that donated blood, okay? So we're going to say the percentage white people is going to be 100%, right? Minus Asians, minus black people, minus colored people, minus unknown, okay? So it's going to be 100%. Minus 8, minus 38. Minus 5, minus 2, right? So if you take all of the other people out of the 100%, you're just left with white people, okay? So let's put that into our calculator. You don't have to put all the percentage signs in. You can literally drop all of them if you want to. You can keep them in if you want to, but it's not going to give you a different answer. It's just going to be 47%. Okay, so 47% of the donors in 2015 are white people. So we then say white donors 2015 is the total number of donors times by the percentage that are white. Okay. And then, so we go like this, excuse me, 485957 times 47%. Okay, and that gives us 22839.79. Okay, and what does it ask us to do? To round off to the nearest 10? Well, that's handy because the nearest 10 is this. Okay, 
So if you round this off, you'll see that it actually rounds off to the nearest 10 already. Okay. So the number of donors that were white in 2015 is 228400. Okay. So that's us done for this question. This um, question was a little bit tricky. There was a little bit of sort of mathematical um, interpretation and there was a little bit of manipulation, but it's a great question to practice. Okay, that's us done. Let's go on to 1.5.